Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn about two functions. One is a now, another one is a go. Now function returns the current UTC clock time, optionally offset by a given time span. So you can provide different time spans and get the value out of that. This function can be used multiple times in a statement and the clock time being referenced will be same for all the instances. So you can reference this now in multiple times in the one statement and it's going to return you the same value. Now let's talk about a go function. A go subtract the given time span from the current UTC clock time. So you can use a go minus 2D or minus 3D. So you can subtract some days or minutes, hours and all that from the go and it will return you that data. So let's go ahead and take a look on a now and a go function in a practical. Now, first of all, what I'm doing here, I'm using now function here and I'm printing it out. So I'm going to use print operator to print the value of a function now. And you can see that it is returning us a UTC timer. Now, if I would like to go two days before now, I can always say now minus 2D. That means I'm subtracting two days out of a current timer. So I'm going to go ahead and execute that. And other way to write the same query now and then you have a parenthesis and inside the parenthesis you can provide the time span here I am subtracting two days so these both queries are going to return me the same results okay now what we do uh, we are going to go ahead and uh, play a little more with it and uh, see how exactly a uh, go work so as you see right there here I'm uh, printing uh, uh, now is equal to now and uh, then uh, what I'm doing I'm using zero minutes ago and uh, I'm using a go here and uh, I'm given a zero minute in time span. Uh, so then I'm saying uh, they're given another column name and uh, in the ago I'm saying one day. Then uh, for one hour I'm providing one hour, one minute, one minute, one second and then 10 milliseconds. Uh, so I can execute this uh, all that, that together and see the value. The very first uh, column is now. You can see right there and it's returning us uh, the current time. Uh, now, what I'm doing here, I use a go function and put zero minutes here. That means uh, I'm uh, not doing anything because if I will uh, use a, uh, a go without any uh, argument, it's going to give me error. So that's why I had to use a zero minute here. So whatever now is returning, that's exactly a go is returning if I will put a zero minutes here. So if I try to uh, run this right now, you can see that it's expecting one argument. So that's why I provide a zero minute here. Okay. Now let's go rerun this and take a look on the other columns. And one day ago, you can see that it's subtracted one day out of current day. And then we have a one hour ago, so it's subtracted one hour. And then we have one minute ago that we subtracted one minute. You can see right there, this is a 29 and this is a 28. Then we have one second ago, so that's a 29. And right here, 0, 04 second and 0, 03 seconds. So then we have a milliseconds and all that. So you can use a go or no now function to get the time or whatever you need, and you can add or subtract the days. Here I use a go function, but you can also use now function in pretty much the same place but uh, here let's say you want to say now and uh, now let's say now and uh, we can go ahead and execute this statement as well now you see right there it's returning me in that value and uh, here I can use now as well and uh, the what is happening here it is uh, from uh, one day from here so in the now you see that if I use now and provide a, a one day it means it's adding a day you know if I need to subtract a day like a go function then I have to subtract uh, one day so you see right there now it is returning that uh, so you can use uh, either now or use a go depending on your scenarios and wherever you have to subtract or uh, add uh, the day you know or time span you can do that uh, uh, in the now function uh, and in the ago uh, you can uh, you don't have to do any minus or all that you can always put uh, uh, time span it to go uh, um, you know it to give return you the previous values so, 
So this is how you will uh, use uh, two of these functions and uh, play with them and wherever you need it, especially if you are uh, going to get the data, historical data you want to have, like, oh, I want to, every time I run my query, it should go for 365 days earlier and start, or it go, should go to the first of the month. So you can do play with these functions and get the required date range for your different uh, queries. Um, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.